Hello, in this video I'm going to go over working with complex numbers on the Casio FXCG15 graphing calculator. The first thing to notice is that by default the calculator is not in complex number mode. Trying to see the square root of 1 will give an error, or of negative 1 will give an error. To change this we're going to click shift then menu to enter the setup menu. And scroll down to just below this, uh, this first page, just below angle, where we'll get complex mode. And we can see it's set to real. We're going to test it to A plus BI. Click exit. And then we can do the uh, re with this and it will now work. Now, you might ask, why would you ever want to be in the real mode? Well, there are some times when you're trying to solve an equation and let's uh, let's say using the automatic solve end feature and you want the real solutions. Like, you're not doing stuff with complex numbers at that time, but the calculator is just being annoying and giving you the complex solutions anyway. That's when you want to switch over and uh, use the uh, use the real mode when you, when you're trying to do something with roots and it's just being annoying and giving you a complex solution when you don't want it. Um, now we're in complex number mode. We're going to click Option, and then F3 to get the complex menu. As you can see, we can get I by pressing F1, and sure enough, I squared gives us negative one. You can also get I by doing Shift Zero. Now, actually, you can use I even when you're in real mode, but it's just doing stuff like uh, square root of negative one that will give you an error. Um, abs is the absolute value, and this just gives us the modulus or absolute value of our complex number. Like so. Arg gives you the argument. Remember to include the brackets here. Um, as there is a plus sign, this isn't one entity in the, as far as uh, the calculators are aware. You need to put the brackets to make sure that R, fu R function considers everything. And that's true for all of these, including the conj one, that gives you the complex conjugate of a number. As you can see, switch the plus to a minus. And if we click F6, we get some more. Rep, or REP, will give us the real part of our complex number. So 5 plus 5, uh, oh no, let's do 6. I can give us 5. And imaginary part does uh, the same, but it just gives us, well, the imaginary part. Six. These two are interesting. This one is useful to convert uh, to convert our number into modulus argument form. So, as you can see, it will give us our modulus, root 61, followed by our argument. And sure enough, if you go back over here and get our uh, absolute value of this complex number, oops, oops, we will get root 61. And if we get our argument of this, we will get 50.19442891. Going back here, we can also see this one to convert into, well, the form we're already using. So when do we want to use this? Well, if you go to Shift Setup and scroll down, you will see that you can also change uh, complex number mode to give stuff naturally in the modulus argument form. Like so. And this means that sometimes you may be doing some calculation with complex numbers and you get it out in this form. Let's this let's say this is the useful form you want to be in right now. You're getting stuff like that. Well, you can uh, use this to convert it back. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.